Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Tim Plus, and today I'll be teaching you guys on how to make your computer faster. Hopefully I'll help you guys in this video. If you have a bad PC, like a laptop, anything, I will help you get it faster so you can get at least 10 more FPS to 20 FPS. If this don't work, guys, all you have to do is comment down below and I will help you, obviously, because you're doing something wrong. But this 100% works, guys. I know a lot of my comments in my last video were like, can I delete the temp files? Yes, you can. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just temporary files that you don't need anymore. And it won't delete any pictures or anything like that. The first thing we're going to do is go down to our little search window down here. Click run and we're going to type in percent temp percent. And then click OK. As you can see, we've got all these temporary files that you legit can't use. As you can see, you cannot use it. So you don't need anything here. So what you do is press Command or Control A and then press Delete on your keyboard. And it should start deleting, as you can see. And if this comes up, so as you can see, I told you if if it if you need it, it won't obviously turn off. So click to put all current items and click skip if you don't want to delete them. Then put these current items continue. That just means that it can delete it. So here we go. In the next step right now. So go back down here, click right click, go on to power options, and it actually does work on the PC as well, guys. But if you're on Windows 10, don't do it from here because this is bad. So what we'll do is go on to the Windows thing here and we'll type it in. So it'll come up normally in this. this. So we'll click choose a power plan and we'll put high performance. It, it will probably be like this guys, balance recommended and you won't see high performance. You probably need to press this little thing here and then click high performance. And it works if you're on a laptop guys, it really does work when you're on a laptop. Not so much for PC, but it does improve. We're going to go down there again, right click. We're going to go down there again and click and type in control panel and we're going to click enter. So on this control panel thing here, click uninstall a program and basically what it's do is free up uh, some memory I guess so your PC can run faster. So like Adobe Character Animator, um, stuff that you don't need guys, don't delete stuff that you need. I'm going to delete Chrome or I don't need that. Some of this stuff guys you probably won't even know you have because you download stuff and it just like makes you download it without even asking. So yeah what you do to uninstall it, you right click and click uninstall slash change. But you can only do it one at a time, guys. So carry on the control panel again, guys. What we are going to type in is advanced, and it should come up with your advanced system settings. And then you're going to head over to the advanced, so it'll be over here. Just go to the advanced settings, and then click settings. And it'll probably be on let Windows choose what's best for you. That's bad. We don't want that because they just choose everything. So what we want is I take some stuff because. I like my windows to look nice, but uh, if I just take all of them off like so, um, it doesn't really change anything to be honest, except from like the little reading text, but it does, this is probably the main thing that will help you, so I'm just going to change it back, so as you can see everything going back to normal, so here we got everything's back to normal now, so as you can see if you tick certain boxes then windows changes, but you can do whatever you want guys, I'm just going to leave it as is because my, my PC is fine. So next thing I'm going to do is go down to the Windows thing over here again and click Run. And this time we're going to put Prefetch. So just spell it how I do, guys. So Prefetch and then click to Continue. Sorry about that noise. And as you can see, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same as hashtag uh, percent ten percent. So here we go, guys. As you can see, there's a lot more stuff in Prefetch, and it's the same thing. You can delete anything without hurting anything. So. Control A or Command A, delete, and they are gone. So now we're going to go back to run again. Um, we're going to type in services. So I've got it up here, services.msc, and then I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, all this important stuff comes up. So I'm going to click on like anything random. Just click on this and click S on your keyboard, S. And you're going to click it. And as you can see, it comes to the S section. And we're going to find super fetch, so it is right here. I've already disabled it because I messed up my recording when I was doing it. But what you want to do is click stop and then you're going to head over to properties and make sure it's on disabled. And prefetch basically just, it says it, it makes your PC perform better, but that's just a lie guys, don't believe that. Superfetch is only good when you have like a USB stick in um, helping it, but it's not good. 
And obviously the next step is I'm not it's not really a much of a step, but when you're in your game guys, make it twelve eighty P. You don't need ten eighty P guys. Like if you have a bad computer, I guess you can put four eighty P but seven twenty P is pretty much like ten eighty P. Just don't overpower your computer guys. The next thing I'm gonna show you is go into your files, like this file. Go on to wherever you save stuff not important and you're basically gonna delete them. So like, I don't need this thumbnail, I don't need any of this. Um I do need this Lightroom. Like I don't really need much of this, so I'm just gonna delete these two and that frees up memory, but don't just stop there guys. What you're gonna do is go to your um desktop and I'm gonna show icons. So recycle bin and when you go into the recycle bin, let me open this. Uh as you can see all the prefetch and percent uh, temp files are still on your computer. How do you delete them? Well, control A, delete, and delete 700 items from your computer, and that will free up so much memory, guys. So this next tip I'm gonna be giving you guys after this is done. So the next tip is probably the most effective one, I guess. So we're gonna go to the files application again, and I'm gonna click this PC, and we're gonna click on the Windows C drive here, I'm going to click properties, right click properties, and uh, as you can see this comes up, and this is really important guys. So if you have your disk all the way out up to the, like, where it's about to explode basically, uh, as you can see mine's nowhere near about to fa fail or whatever. So uh, if yours was like up to here, you'd obviously want to clean it and make it go halfway or something. You just want to clear up some megabytes or gigabytes or whatever. So what you'll do is click disk clean up right here, next to the little circle thing. And it should run a checkup. And here we go. We're gonna scroll through and tick what we want. So temporary files, we've already deleted them, but yeah. I'm gonna delete everything on here. So recycle bin, everything. Just tick everything, guys, uh, that you, it sees on the screen. And don't just click OK. You wanna click Clean Up System Files. And it should start cleaning it. And as you can see, it, it does take quite a bit, guys. It probably takes like uh, ten minutes uh, for the whole thing because you need to go through another step after this. So as you can see, when it is done, guys, we're going to tick everything after it is done, like this. All again, and then click OK and delete files. And as you can see, this is where it actually deletes all the files. It was just scanning to see if it can delete them or not. So this is where you delete the files. It does take quite a bit. And uh, whilst this is doing the clean up, I'm going to teach you another one. So there's something called a like uh, defender. So like. In my case, I have Windows Defender, I believe. So as you can see, I've got Windows Defender and it just basically blocks any viruses from my computer to make it like run better. So you need one of these uh, virus protectors. So when I go onto like internet, when I'm about to download something, it says if it's a virus or not. Uh, it just can track it. So I recommend getting a paid one, but I just got one that came with my computer. Obviously, just search onto the internet, PC cleaner, and that stuff like that if you really want to get into cleaning your PC. So, guys, it is all done now. So, thank you for watching this video. It really does mean a lot, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a episode 4, I believe, uh, then just leave a comment down below and like this video. Let's hit 100 likes in this video. Last video got 200 likes, so let's do it, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.